So since I was like 16 years old, I've been wanting to do this program. Baby, she called me this morning. He got a beard. He was trying to act like he grown in public. <laughs> he needs to stop. I have another hair sponsorship. blind bestie welcome welcome back to my channel so if you're new here my name is aisha shay this is aisha's life and welcome to this vlog <laughs> i think i'm going to record the weekend just to show you guys what i'm doing your girl is all done up i'm about to start making some content here in a few yesterday i was like totally not trying to do not a damn thing and i did it <laughs> so today i'm making up for that i'm going to be filming some content really quickly and you know the type of team it's a little later and i just had my meeting with my counselor about when should i be able to start the blind training that i was telling you guys about a couple of vlogs back and it's looking like everything is in motion and i'm so freaking excited i'm so so excited y'all like uh, this is a program that i've been wanting to do literally ever since i was in high school so since i was like 16 years old i've been wanting to do this program and it's finally happening for me he said monday they're going to be sending over like the documentation that i need to sign off on and then we're going to give me a start date and i'm so excited so within the next month or so i will know when my start date is because i did tell them about my trip in june and i'm like it's already been planned it's already been booked so <laughs> Y'all gotta work around me just to mix my food up. But I cannot wait until my babes is on break so I can tell them the good, good news. And everything that I told you guys in the last video about like this um, training program is the same thing that I'm going to be doing. Like nothing's really has changed with that. But I'm about to eat to lunch. I'm making like the fettuccine pasta thing and I put like some grilled chicken bits in it. You foggy, yeah, baby. You foggy. But I just texted my friends and told them about the good, good news. And yeah, today is going to be pretty chill. I think we're having tacos for dinner. Um, I got me some tilapia, so I could make myself some fish tacos. And that's what I feel like I'm wanting to have, you know, good old fish tacos. Guys, oh my God. I have exciting news to tell you. Ooh, sit back, girl. Just, just sit back. Just hear me out. Hear what I got to say. So. I got my call this morning from my training center. Now, I literally just told y'all yesterday that they may be calling me like a month from now and giving me a start date. Baby, she called me this morning. Okay. I believe I told you guys in the tour vlog where I took the tour, I told y'all literally that they had somebody graduating that day. Now, when I went, he told me like, you know, we do have people in front of you that's been on the waiting list that are waiting to start. But if... All those people decide okay I'm not ready right now to start training we're gonna call your number and I was placed on the list for someone that is ready right now who can start training so baby baby I literally have a start date so I'm gonna vlog this whole situation of my first week of training getting there all that stuff so it's kind of probably gonna be a long vlog but um yeah the first week I'm going to show you guys um, everything, but the night before training starts, I have to go up there to Indianapolis so I can check into the hotel and all those teams. Um, and I'm so ready. He literally like, this is crazy y'all. Like I literally had my meeting yesterday saying like finalizing everything. And I don't know how I went from being last in line for training to them telling me like girl you must start now <laughs> and when i went to the um tour i told you i showed you guys this in the vlog and i think i said it as well they did have a girl graduating that day i didn't think i would be replacing her spot i didn't, I didn't think that so i need to hit up my old teachers and let them know your girl is about to start training so i may be able to become your employee sooner than i thought <laughs> so that is so awesome for me that is so 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 cool y'all the only thing i honestly use in this wig is water plain water and mousse and this is a, i think a styling mousse from Mali moisture and i got it specifically for this wig because it's more like a natural girl hair i haven't put heat on this wig at all 
and it's still, you know, bouncy as ever. I love this wig. I'm gonna definitely buy me another one. I got a pack. I got a package. It came from Amazon. Honestly, I don't remember ordering this, but it was on my subscribe and save and was probably one of them things that I need a knife or something. Hold on. I literally have butter knives all around this house for a moment. <laughs> It'd be nice if I had a mail opener. But anyways, um, I think this is one of those things that I had on subscribe and say that I was going to order, but I ended up returning it before it even came to me, before I even got shit. But I kept it on subscribe and save, obviously, because I got it. Oh, this is not what I thought. This is the Maui Moisture Coconut Deep Conditioner. It smells so good. So, 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 so good. So now I'll be able to deep condition my hair this week. Last week I completely skipped the step because it wasn't a lot in the other ones, but I need to get this in a bigger size. I think they're only like $8. I need to get this bigger because it needs to last me two months and it don't. <laughs> right now I'm just chilling. It's like a little bit after three o'clock. We're going out to dinner around six. And then you guys can see me, you know, touch up on my makeup um i put my bonnet over my hair because i didn't want to take this wig off but i'm so excited about the night oh, it was gonna be raining by now but it's not raining it's just windy as hell so it's raining tonight but i'm all dressed the fit is on i'm gonna show i'm gonna have babe take a video of me so y'all can see but it look cute he looks handsome his fits but y'all i'm starving i'm starving i ate a really really light lunch just so i can eat enough when i go out to eat i don't like just be you know i like getting my money's worth so i just got off the phone my friends <laughs> we made it to the restaurant <laughs> y'all look at him my straw's too small bro. <laughs> He got a beer, but we're about to figure out. <laughs> hey, we try to act like he grown in public. <laughs> he needs to stop. But we're about to um. Right, we're about to figure out what appetizer that we want. It comes with chips and salsa, but we haven't ate so. Oh, I got lemonade. Regular. So the food came. Me and they definitely going to be sharing these tacos. And look at his food. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. We about to be sleep as soon as we get home. Oh, God. And we said we getting uh, dessert. Some are going to get eight today. <laughs> I'll take a dessert with you. <laughs> Can't come to a Mexican restaurant without getting churros. Yummy. <laughs> and my blood pressure is up because of what the fuck I just did. Oh, I'm so cool. Babe has fried ice cream. We love that, but my blood pressure is slightly up. Whatever the hell was in my quesadilla was slightly salty. And I ate the whole thing. Then I kept dipping my shit in this cheese. Also salty. <laughs> but it was good. It was worth every bite. My churros topped, topped. But I got me some water. Avocado tuna toast, and I added bacon on it because, like, why not? And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese because <laughs> why not? But, anyways, it's actually supposed to be a healthy dinner. So, it's one whole avocado, right? And then two cans of tuna to make you know more of the mixture. And I put a little bit of seasoning. I did do a spoon of mayo in it because of the flavor. I didn't want to actually add salt, y'all know mayo has a distinct taste so boom add that in there and it goes into it anyways but the creaminess is coming off from the avocado but that's 
lunch. Saturday. I don't know if I've ever said that today, but it is. It's Saturday. And it's movie night for my friends and I. Um, I think we're supposed to be watching King Richard, but I did see, send some options in the group chat because we were just literally just talking about it. So I guess I'll let you guys know tomorrow what we end up watching tonight. Um, hopefully we start about 8.30 because it gives everybody time to get home who wants to watch the movie. Um, but I'm about to wash my hair. I have another hair sponsorship. I don't know what kind of hair it is. I know it's sad. It's crazy to say that because it's like, yeah, agreed to do this deal. But I think it's like braiding hair, like passion twist. So if that's the case, I don't want to braid my hair down and straight backs, you know, and I am going to have to take that out. So today I'm going to wash shampoo condition and then deep condition. I'm just oiling my hair before I start combing it because I don't want to comb my hair on completely dry hair. I don't want to comb, what? I don't want to comb my hair on dry hair. I think I said that for the first time, but I'm just oiling them. And then I'm gonna give myself a nice little, you know, massage. But I ordered a tangle teaser brush. So the next time I wash my hair, I'm going to do a video reviewing that brush because all the reviews is good for the most part. So we're gonna see. But a lot of people don't know that like, you can't just brush your hair, comb your hair, your, especially your natural hair, just dry. Like if I didn't put this oil in here, I'm scrunching my face up like that hurts and it doesn't. I think that's just my natural instinct. Anyways. um. If I didn't oil my hair just now, it would have been 10 times harder to pass through my hair. And like a lot of people said in the comments, like some people don't know how to use certain tools on their hair. So they get a lot of breakage. They get a lot of damage after combing their hair and they get all that unnecessary shedding. Wash day is finally complete. Um, oh God, cover my face five seconds. It's finally done and I'm about to blow dry and and that's it. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing else to it because like I told y'all earlier that I don't know what this looks like. Like I have no clue. <laughs> um or if it's braiding hair. So if it's braiding hair, I'm gonna braid my hair up, obviously. But that's probably all the film I'm gonna do and this vlog thank you guys so freaking much for watching and hopefully you stick around and stay a while by hitting that subscribe button with that bell pressing on so you got all my notifications and like this video and hopefully this entertained you in some way it got your mind off of something crazy you was thinking about baby subscribe so i can just be your just disrespectful I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside.